There's me, there's us. There's them. We live in Dorset. So that's me, that's her, that's them. And together we are the Bear Fam. Hello there. How are you? Today is Monday the 21st of December. Out with the pooches. Ah, quite late. I've been sleeping in late so dogs get late walk. But nonetheless, nothing else to do. Uh, it's damp. It's misty. There's no sun. Uh, bear with me, there's a man coming. Just pretended to talk to myself like I was on a, a Zoom call or something. The bloke was looking at me like I was slightly a sandwich short of a picnic. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, sorry, hang on. There you go. Trying to hold three dogs, one hand. Not good. Um, I'll tell you what, I'll catch you in a minute when I'm off the road. The upside to the weather being not as pleasant as it was yesterday is that there's no people around. So I think I'd rather have the damp weather. Uh, my roots are getting horrific, but that's because at the point in time, I didn't tell you this because I wasn't vlogging for a while, was I? At the point in time that my hair appointment was due, I was feeling rotten. Still got the residual a bit now, almost like fluey. And I haven't worked out yet whether it's just the fibro or whether I've actually had a bug. Um, but I went and had a, a COVID test. A COVID test. In fact, we both did. Um, we're both negative. So we didn't have, at that point, about two weeks ago, have COVID. Um, ah, first. Um, I don't know why I was telling you that now. I've lost my fight train of thought. Oh, there's ducks in the overflow water. Well, there was. I missed them. There's overflow where we normally walk through, the gap down there. The ducks have just sailed past. <laughs> down there, that bit there, we normally walk past. The ducks went by. I'm going mad. There's not a sign of any wildlife now, is there? Trust me, there were ducks there. Um, can't remember the point of telling me that now. Can't remember. I could wind back and have a look, I suppose, but I'm sure you'll forgive me. I don't know if you're aware, if you haven't got kids in secondary school, it's probably passed you by, but um, the government literally on the Friday they broke up, Thursday they broke up, announced that kids would be off school a week longer than normal and schools had to get COVID testing in place so if one kid now tests positive in a class whereby they've been then sending everybody home for a week two weeks they've now got to test everybody like they gave them a week a day's notice before the Christmas holidays at the start of all this I was with Boris I think as time's gone by, things are just disintegrating into madness. Um, now this extra COVID strain has appeared. I see today that France and a variety of other people have closed their borders to us. Um, looking at the M20, it's just this big line of, of you know, HGVs, lorries. I didn't realize that 10,000 lorries come and go from just Dover alone each day. And that's a hell of a lot, isn't it? And now the supermarkets are saying and they might not have everything. Uh, my tin bank might come useful after all. Well, that woman's following me now. I don't like to be followed. I don't know what it is. 
nothing's ever happened to me. Um, the minute somebody starts following me, it makes me just want to dive off and go in a different direction so that they're, they're gone. It's really just, uh, just insecurity and anxiety, I suppose. Uh, anyway, it's like two in the afternoon. I need to go and get some more wrapping paper. We did get some cheapy from Home Bargains, but the stuff we had before that was better quality with the squares on the back and didn't rip every time you, you know, pulled on it. Spoil us, so we're going to get some better quality wrapping paper to finish our wrapping. Uh, as I said, Ellie's with her dad Christmas Day. It was due to be Boxing Day too, but because of COVID and the the rules on how many houses you can visit and all that malarkey. She's only going for one day now. So, we were going to celebrate Christmas on Christmas Eve. Make presents and do stuff. So... Oh, sorry, I'm out of puff. Having said that, I think the best thing we can do is probably separate it. Do some new, uh, Christmas Eve New Year's Eve. Why am I so out of breath? Christmas Eve, bit Christmas day before she goes at midday, and then some Boxing Day probably. Okay, I'm gonna leave it there for a minute because I'm really tight chested. Possibly holding the camera up, I don't know. Right, and there's people coming towards me, so I better get dogs in the lead. Right, catch you in a while. Hey there, fam. Um, today is Tuesday, the 22nd of December. Um, I failed to continue with the vlog yesterday when I got home. Uh, we watched a film, I think. I can't actually remember. And that's the trouble when you don't do anything. You seem to have no time at all. Um, presents are under the tree, ready for the big day. Um, it's a dreary, horrible day. Look at it. I've literally, for the last few days, had the lights on that I normally put, like, on three, four in the afternoon around the house on permanently because it's been so dark. And now it's just, like, mist and rain and... It's not pleasant. Oh, I hate seeing my roots in the... I keep thinking I might just dye it blue or pink or... I even had a radical idea about dyeing it grey, just, like, going, like, my natural colour. All that trendy grey that everybody seems to have. And I spent half an hour in front of the mirror putting a load of slap on. And I'm not even sure why I've done that. To go out on that with the dogs. I don't know. It's made me feel better about life. Um, yeah, Ellie was meant to go to the orthodontist today. But that's been cancelled again. Um, they said somebody was sick, but they didn't say sick with what. Um... This new strain of COVID is a bit worrying, isn't it? Do you know, through the whole of lockdown, the beginning of COVID... What happened there? It all went black and stopped. Um, yeah, what I was saying about COVID, I, I wasn't... I was careful, I've been careful. And I've had the test when I was poorly and I thought I might have it. But this new strain and the way it's spreading, and for France to close their borders, I mean... That's serious shit, really. And for once, now schools have closed again for that one week after after Christmas, so they don't go back to like the 11th now or something. And they've been instructed they have to sit in front of their computers uh, all school hours. They're only allowed to get up for the breaks that they would have at school, and they've got to be in school uniform. <coughs> see why she should sit in school uniform at home. I don't mind her being in front of the camera and doing her work. Um, I don't have any problem with that at all, but this direct, like, sort of directive, you must sit in front of, I find that a bit. That's just going to switch kids off, that really is. They just don't get it, do they? <laughs> all kids want to do is do the dicky opposite of what everybody wants to prove that they're growing up and they have a say in what the world. So in telling them they must in their own, what they will consider to be their own time, 
I know it's not, it's school time, but in their own time, in their own homes, wear a uniform and sit in front of a computer for seven hours of the day. Ooh, do. That is not going to occur. Um, just wish it was over and done with now, don't you? Bear fam, can we have some positivity, actually? Um, there's a couple of Bear fam members called Sherry and Joe who were evicted from their home. Um, I won't go into the ins and outs of it, but they ended up in uh, various accommodation. They've been put here, there and everywhere, mostly in Premier Inn and B&Bs, but they both suffer with chemical sensitivity, um, which means that perfumes, cleaning products, things like that, just really make them very poorly. Um, but they're being disrespected, really. Um, because, like many of us, have got these invisible uh, disabilities. Um, they're poo-pooed and treated like rubbish. So this Christmas, uh, their cats, who they love dearly, have had to go into um, a cattery, which is obviously breaking their hearts because they're pining for each other. Cats for them and them for the cats. Um, the cats will keep promising to rehome them in, in a dis disabled bungalow which doesn't seem to be happening um, and their spirits are low and I can understand why um, and from what she put on Facebook yesterday or day before she's also running out of money so Bear Fam can we just have a, a moment of positivity right here and right now um, I'm just gonna close my eyes and we're if you could close your eyes with me and I want you to think of Sherry and Joe and maybe just maybe a wave of positivity from the bear fam might make a difference, okay? So, on the count of three. Three, two, one. That's it, you're doing well, bear fam. Just... Feel it from the heart and sort of almost push it down and through and out your hands. See a white light, white light of positivity and send love and light to Sherry and Joe in Paul and Dorset. Sherry and Joe in Paul and Dorset. Sherry and Joe in Paul and Dorset. Love, light. Reiki hands burning. Okay, well, I hope that has some effect. Um, and get in touch, Bear Fam. I think I'll do my second degree Reiki, and I think then we can do some distance healing. We can maybe become a bit more of a tight knit group that help each other. We could use the power of the Bear Fam um, to better use, maybe. What do you think? Anyway, I've got to walk these dogs. I've got to have another fag. It's mm. crucial. <laughs> My God, go out and get wet. Again. Right. If I don't speak to you before Christmas, um, I may do a live Christmas day if any of you are lonely or bored or whatever. Um, Ellie is with her dad. I'm on my own. So other than walking dogs, um, there's not a lot going on. So we could try that. Um, let's try and get the laptop active. <laughs> right, anyway, take care of yourselves and each other. Uh, if you do pray or you do meditate, please think of Sherry and Joe, and let's try and get them some love and light for Christmas because it must be khaki sitting in a hotel room with no home, no knowledge of when you're gonna get a home and separated from your best friends. So let's all, let's all keep them in our thoughts. Right, um, take care of yourselves and each other. Uh, have a good Christmas, or run up to Christmas, and I'll probably see you Christmas Day, if not before. <gasps> On the morrow, maybe. <laughs> Love you, Bear fan. <laughs>